I've made a lot of setup upgrades. Some of them were just aesthetic. Others actually matter. But this is how my first setup used to look like. So if I had to build a setup from scratch, these are the 10 products I'd focus on. Starting with something I don't think enough people appreciate or even know about. A mouse with an infinite scroll wheel. Here's why I think it's a game changer. First, it lets you remove the steps on a scroll wheel and allows it to freely spin. I like it because it makes navigating your PC so much quicker and easier in one single scroll rather than multiple individual scrolls. It's extremely convenient and useful as it ends up saving a lot of time in the long run. Every time you scroll, you save a few seconds and if you do that 100 times a day, it adds up. But it's only available in select mice such as these ones. The second upgrade of the list solved a huge problem for me and it's this thing over here. The Delta Hub Car View. Here's why. I don't touch much grass. <laughs> I'm always on my setup, so to the surprise of no one, over the years I had a gradual increase in wrist pain, which forced me to pay more attention to desk ergonomics. That's why five years ago I started using this wrist rest, and it changed how I use my mouse. Instead of moving my wrist every time, now I move my entire arm to control the mouse because the PTFE feet on the Carpio glide easily, and I unconsciously made the change when I got this. This meant that now I'm putting less strain on my wrist and on top of that, it lets you rest your hand in a more natural and comfortable angle which also makes a significant difference. Just as much as the third upgrade on the list because it makes your setup look better, improves desk ergonomics and is quite affordable. And they are monitor arms. Here's why you should consider one. First, it makes your setup look way cleaner and spacious because you don't have a monitor stand on your desk anymore, occupying valuable desk space. And second, it improves desk ergonomics because it lets you easily adjust your monitor to the perfect height, which is having the monitor's top vessel at your eye level. Have you realized that it's much more comfortable to look down than to look up? If your eyes are at the same height as the monitor's top bezel, you can comfortably see the entire screen without bending your neck, which is a terrible idea if you sit on your desk for long hours at a time and you have your neck bent upwards or downwards. By the way, a free option would be to just stack boxes or books to get the monitor to the right height and it still looks good if you get a bit creative with what you use as a monitor stand. The fourth upgrade made my life so much easier and that's to get a second monitor. I always have multiple tabs open and with a second screen I can have everything open at once rather than layering everything on top of my main monitor. It's both great for productivity and procrastinating. It's a free tech tip. The fifth upgrade makes a lot of sense but Linus hates it for some reason and it's a monitor screen bar. Let me explain. At first glance, it looks counterintuitive to shine a bright light on your monitor, but that's not what's happening. The light is angled so it hits your desk while avoiding your eyes and the monitor. It greatly alleviates eye strain while working late. Lamps can help, but screen bars don't occupy desk space, don't spill light everywhere and are more convenient. And also look great in photos. That's a big upside. The only downside is that during summer, I always have insects flying around my screen. I kill one, another one spawns. I kill one, another one spawns. And there's nothing I can do about that. The next upgrade is for the sacrilegious people out there with bad cable management. You know who you are. This is all you need to do. Step one, buy any cable management tray such as an IKEA Signum. Step two, install it under your desk. Step 3. Shove all the cables in there and you have perfectly decent cable management. Quick and easy. I like the out of sight, out of mind approach. As long as you don't see it, for me, it's well enough managed. By the way, never use double-sided tape. Only screws. I've tried to tape things many times in the past and now I have trust issues because they always end up falling. I have velcroed a net here. That way I can put things here and it will support the weight. <sighs> Pro tip, consider getting an under desk drawer to store commonly used small items so you don't have always stuff on your desk all the time. By the way, if you are finding this video valuable, please consider subscribing. The seventh upgrade you need to try is completely free and is to simply find a clean and minimal wallpaper you like. Here's why. 
I like using simple and minimal wallpapers because they make everything look less cluttered and less distracting. It's the same concept as working in a clean and organized room versus one that's an absolute mess. The first one is nice and pleasing to look at, and the second one makes my brain hurt. I often use wallpapers from Wallpaper Engine on Steam, but I stick with ones with less movement so it's not so in your face and a bit more chill. And a free option I use is unsplash.com, where there's a huge library of professional photos I often use as wallpapers. There are only three things left on the list, and for some reason no one, or at least nobody I know of, talks about the last one. But before that, this is the eighth upgrade you need to consider. Standing desks. They are expensive. And the broke college student in me never understood the appeal, but one day, a company offered to send me one for free, so... It's been four years since I started using this standing desk, and here's how it changed my mind. First, ergonomics. Most people don't pay enough attention to desk ergonomics or they can't afford to, which is also a reality me five years ago. Standing desks made a lot of sense once I got one, as it's extremely easy and convenient to set the perfect height for you with the push of a single button. Also, being able to work standing is a nice feature to have. Even if you have the most comfortable chair, it's good to stand up once in a while. And second, convenience. If I'm doing cable management, cleaning or moving stuff around, being able to move the desk out of the way with a single button is awesome. I love that. I would totally buy another one if my desk suddenly exploded. Pro tip, avoid this mistake I made when choosing a tabletop. Consider picking one with plenty of depth if your room allows for it. It's often overlooked, but it makes a huge difference in how much stuff you can fit on your desk and in ergonomics. With a deeper tabletop, you can comfortably rest your arms on the desk, place your monitors further away if needed, and have more space to work with in general. The problem I have now with my desk is that this is as far as it gets and it's a bit too close because the desk is not deep enough and that's why it's important. On top of that, I like to use a thick desk pad so I'm not resting my hands on hardwood and it acts as a cushion. Stacking two on top of each other works even better. The ninth up Ninth upgrade is the most important one. You might have noticed that I've centered my message mainly around ergonomics rather than aesthetics or anything else. Aesthetic upgrades and things like fancy mechanical keyboards are the obvious things everyone likes and sees, but what matters in building a actually really good workspace is ergonomics. And a chair is something you are going to use all the time. I'm using it right now. So you might as well put some proper thought into it and get a comfortable chair that won't cause any health related issues down the road, like back pain, neck pain, I sound like an old man kind of pain. <laughs> you don't even need to buy a super expensive one for it to be really good. I'd recommend you check out Honestly and VTODTV. They are the chair experts on YouTube and I've been using a Sihu M90D since I watched one of their videos last year. I find it even more comfortable than most Herman Miller chairs, which are the best of the best according to a lot of people on social media. I went to try them at a store and they are incredibly well built and look amazing, but I found the seat cushion on this Sihu chair more comfortable than any Herman Miller chair I tried, and this is one tenth of the price. Overall, it's a really solid chair and I like it, I would totally recommend it, but remember, you should always try a chair and see how it fits your body before purchasing one. My body is not the same as yours, so try to get one with an easy return policy or try it in person at a store. Sit for at least 10 minutes or 20 or 30 minutes and take your time trying a chair. And last but not least, this is the lifesaver that keeps my setup running safely, and that's a UPS, which stands for Uninterrupted Power Supply. In simple terms, it's basically a battery bank for my entire setup in case electricity goes out, which happens quite a lot at my house. I already had a motherboard on my PC die from this and I'm not going through that ever again. Whenever I hear the circuit breaker go and the power is still fine, it's just a huge lifesaver. Subscribe if you found this helpful and maybe you want to watch this video over here. See you!